if they all close at 5 o'clock, then he can have a night watch. So he can watch these cars at night from 5 p.m. to 7 o'clock in the morning while the rest of the car washes closed. So he's doing all of his research so that he can figure out whether this is a good deal. And after doing all of his research, looking at the numbers, looking at the demographics, looking, projecting how many sales he can make every day, looking at how many uh, air freshers he can sell once the people go to check out. He's decided that this is a pretty good deal. Make sense? The last thing I want to discuss is turning problems into challenges. Okay? Uh, I was discussing this with a psychologist, actually, and I was asking him one of his biggest challenges of working as a psychologist. And he said to me that most people that he deals with does not want to accept the responsibility for the things that I have to do. They want to blame everybody else except for themselves. And he said it really works for him in a way because now he has to do all this therapy to bring them to a place where they understand that in order for them to get better, they have to begin to take responsibility for themselves. Okay? So, the example that I want to give is two obese people. Then both of these people are 480 pounds. They're both in a nursing home. Okay? Um, one of the people can barely reach down to wash his feet. He doesn't have a problem with that though because the CNA can do it for him. So he accepts, although it's a problem, he's accepting of his condition because somebody else can do it for him. He has his own room. He has a television. He doesn't have to work every day. So all he has to do is watch TV, go to life enrichment, have CNAs take care of him. Physical therapist comes to him because they want to take him down to get some physical therapy. His back is hurting him. His legs are hurting him. He sprains his arm. He sprains his wrist. Excuses. Okay? Uh, he gets three meals a day, but that's not enough for him. He gets a check every month, so he orders Chinese food. Spaghetti and meatball. Sound familiar? <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> he orders all this food because you know this is this is the instant gratification that he likes. He doesn't care about the problems. He wants an instant gratification. The second guy has come to a place where he's tired of being dependent on. He's been eating Chinese food, the spaghetti and meatballs and pizza, right along with the other food. But on today, he stops. And it's difficult for him because he smells the Chinese food as it passes by him. He sees them eating the pizza. He misses those spaghetti and meatballs. But he's tired of being in them. He's becoming embarrassed because people are having to wash, to wash him system to the bathroom. So he stops, he cuts the food down. He starts doing some exercises. And he he looks at the pictures of his family that he hasn't seen for so long. And he, he wants to have a normal life. And so he really goes on a diet. He beats with the dietitian to figure out how he can change his food choices. And then he starts walking with a walker. And then he begins to lose a lot of weight. He accepts the challenge. He decides that he wants more for himself. And so, this is what it takes to reinvent yourself. You've got to, first, I think what happens is you have to come to a place where you're tired of repeating the same process all the time. Just, one more for yourself, you understand that there is more. And so, you know, some of us are laughing because we deal with this every day. We, we do our best to help people. They're just not interested in the help. 
And so we just have to accept that it's, it's do the best we can. They don't want to walk. And you get messages because they're not walking. <laughs> so, so those are my examples that I like to. I just wanted to give you. And um, uh, so uh, I have a question for all of you. Is there anyone in here who has never stood up before people and talked? You never spoken before people. Okay, uh, yeah. so can you stand up? Just come over here. Just So, what would you like to talk about? What I do? What do you do? I work for a creative advertising agency. Okay. Thank you. I work for a creative advertising agency, r Square Media. We help businesses improve their visibility online by creating compelling content so that their customers can find them and choose them over competition uh, and thus create engagement that way. And we do that by creating websites, social media, original content, video, uh, you know, get them to Google page one, things like that. Thank you very much. You spoke for about 30 seconds. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people don't realize what their talents are. They don't realize what their purpose are, purpose is. At. So, you know, simple things that can make you move you closer to your purpose. And so that's what this whole thing is about. Is there anyone in here who has had an experience where they had to reinvent themselves? <laughs> Ron? Come, you want to? I don't really want to come up there, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hello, my name is uh, Ron Henderson. I'm Larry's brother. I didn't know I would be speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I started working at Newsday, newspaper company, when I was 19 years old. Always work nights. I, lo I love working nights. I'm not bad. Okay, so I worked there for 26 years, and they made me off. The downsides gave me a buyout. But during the 26 